drummer will want to look in on it. All right, all right, all right. Good afternoon, everybody. Who's ready for some jazz? Oh, those, that sounds like hobbyist. Who's ready to hear some jazz? Make some noise for me in here. What's wrong? That's it. Welcome to the DC Jazz Pre. I'm your host, Aaron Myers. Shake. Oh, my Lord. And you can follow me. Go to Aaron Myers uh, on Twitter and Aaron L. Myers and everything else. If you take video, if you take video of me, because I did not lose weight for this to be a memory, <laughs> use hashtag Aaron Myers Jazz, okay? Aaron Myers Jazz, hashtag. I'm going to be looking here in a minute. But listen, this is the DC Jazz Pre, the premier jazz competition that happens not only in DC, but it attracts artists from around the world. Now, many bands have entered the competition this year, and after a panel review, the finalists were chosen from two areas, artistic quality and merit. On quality, judges look for strong artistic quality, bold, original, and creative ideas, a strong statement of vision, and a record of emerging professional achievement, articulation of their goals and ambitions as an emerging band exhibiting the potential to do, to be, uh, to do future high-quality work. Today, you'll get a chance to join us in a vote. Everyone say vote. vote. Every, in the back, say vote. vote. All right, now we're going to need your vote. And we're not going to vote in between. We're going to vote at the very end, but we'll need you to vote so we can decide a winner. So listen carefully uh, to the, and take copious notes. I want, to, want you to now welcome DC Jazz Festival president, trying to give her a little time as she's walking in, and the CEO, uh, someone who's a dear friend, someone I'm, I'm very proud of, who's absolutely fantastically uh, talented. Put your hands together for Miss Sonny Sumter, everybody. Well, hello there. We are at the pre. I know some of you come every year because you want to have a role in this, right? So we had over 80 submissions, and we narrowed it down to these three, and they are amazing. So before we get to the show, and Aaron's going to do a great job as he does every year, I want to take a moment to just thank our sponsors because they are, are, are the reason why we're here. So I want to thank, I don't know if Tom is here. He should be. Raise your hand if you're here somewhere. Oh, hi, Tom. Tom, uh, the Elaine and Leonard Silverstein Family Foundation is responsible for underwriting this, this show. So thank you, Tom. <laughs> and then uh, Peter Gillen, our chairman, and Conrad Kenley. Where are you? If you're waving. Ah, they're responsible for the money that this, the, whoever's going to win tonight, the $15,000. Thank you. I also want to thank the DC Commission on the Arts and Humanities, the US Commission on Fine Arts, the Washington Post, the official media sponsor of DC Jazz Fest, uh, Sage Communications. Did see this design right here? This is Sage, Sage Communications. David, are you here? Wave, we love you. We love you. <laughs> and we also want to thank the Office of Film, TV, Music, and Entertainment for underwriting this, as well as the Deputy Mayor's Office. And so the best that you can do right now is buy this T-shirt because you're going to support education so that we can put instruments in the hands of young people and so we can have more great as aspiring artists and build tomorrow's jazz fans, whether they become professional artists or not, right? So please, 100% of merchandise sales support our education efforts, and it's year-round. We work with about 17 schools in D.C. So buy a T-shirt, buy two, three, give them, take them home, okay? And other material, we have um, amazing baseball caps and some other things. We have onesies this year for those who just have uh, new family members, yes! So have a great time, okay? Remember, you are having, you're playing a role, so make sure that you're casting your vote at the end. Thank you. Y'all give us some love. I'm glad that she... Specify that the onesie is for young people, for the children. Some, some of you out there trying to get onesies and getting caught up with the buttons down there. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Lord, so thank you, Sonny, opening the show this afternoon. Are you ready for the first person? Yes? Okay. 
So I will, something that's not in the notes, I want you to keep in mind that um, the bands have traveled from all over to come here. We really want to respect the music. So make sure that there's no noise, no talking, none of the kind of thing, all right? Because if they can, we can hear the talking, then someone else out here can't hear the music. You dig? All right, that's the big mom and me coming out, all right? Just making sure you know. So opening the show this afternoon is a band of high artistic quality that quite literally brings the vibes led by Washington, D.C. native turned Houston Texan Jalen Baker. He's a classically and jazz-trained vibraphonist, percussionist, educator, and composer. Together with Jalen Baker Quartet includes Paul Cornish on piano, uh, ba bassist Gabriel uh, Godoy, and drummer Gavin Mulchan. The unique, unique, effortless blending of original modern jazz compositions and jazz standards make for exciting live performances. As a band leader, Jalen has also been awarded the prestigious South Arts Jazz Roads Touring Grant. Uh, let's give it up. The Touring Grant have so many musicians during this time. He has been a featured artist with various organizations such as the Savannah Jazz Orchestra and Live Music Movement Houston. Jalen Baker represents somewhat of a renaissance of the vibes in jazz, joining his contemporaries Joel Ross uh, and many others. Uh, please give a warm welcome to our first finalist, the Jalen Baker Quartet. Come on out here, boys. How you guys doing? Hey, how about a round of applause for Gavin Mulchan on the drums? Yeah. Gabriel Godoy on the bass. And Paul Cornish on the piano. And I'm Jalen Baker. We're from, thank you, thank you. Love the energy. We're from Houston, Texas, um, which was said but I'm, I actually was born here in D.C., so it's, it's really fun to be home. This is actually my first time performing in what is my hometown, and I have, I have some family in the crowd, and, you know, this is special. It's nothing like being in the place where you took your first breath, right? So, <laughs> so we're going to play some music for you guys. We're, um, we're going to play a suite of music that we've been working on over the last um, three or so years. And the first piece of it is entitled So Help Me God, and it's based on the artwork of this Chicago artist who, um, through, I guess, words and visuals, is a, a depiction of his battle with mental health, depression, anxiety, and how he ultimately overcame it. And he was gracious enough to allow me to put music to it. And then we're going to follow that up with a piece of mine entitled Don't Shoot that I wrote shortly after the Mike Brown murder when I was living in Chicago. And that was, like, maybe the first time I had been away from home in something like that, like kind of touched me so much. And I just kind of wanted to write some music that um, depicted those feelings and emotions. And then we're gonna finish off with a tune of mine entitled Healing, which is supposed to be a culmination of all these things and it's supposed to be empowering and letting you know that despite what's going on, there's still a lot of beautiful moments in life, right? So we're gonna get to that and, you know, we're playing serious music, but I. I can promise you, we don't take ourselves very seriously at all. So if you're feeling it, you know, you could give us like a woo. How about, can, can we get a collective one going just to practice? One, two, three. Woo! Yeah, so, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. So if it's not killing, don't do it. Don't, you don't got to lie to us. We can, we can take it. But we're going to get to it. Thank you, guys.
Gavin Molchan on the drums. Gabriel Godoy on the bass. Paul Cornish on the piano. I'm Jalen Baker. Thank you for coming. Get ready for the next two bands. They're incredible. And it's been a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. The Jalen Baker Quartet. Y'all give him some love. Come on now. Give them some. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Let's hear on a little secret. I can play these, too. I played these in the band in high school. And if any of y'all know the Washington and Lee Swing, baby, I got you, all right? March out on the high school. This is good. This is amazing. Give them one more. Give them one more. That was actually, like, I'm kind of blown away. Now, the important thing about what we're doing here is that there's going to be a vote. And what we're doing, you're not going to vote until the very end because I know you might have come in here with one person in mind, but you never know. Somebody else might strike your fancy. How are the people standing? If you're standing, make some noise. Pretty, oh, wow. You're standing, huh? That's what's going on. That's going on. They're like, okay, we're going to holler a little while for you. So we're going to have a little change up in our lineup uh, because of flight times and things of that nature. But what we're going to do, what'd you say? <laughs> what'd you say, friend? God bless your heart. Nothing wrong with it. I love you. <laughs> I love everything about you. <laughs> okay. All flights are delayed. That's right. All flights are, oh yeah, flights are horrible right now. And please, if you are flying, don't be that person. Wear a mask. This is me just talking. I was on a flight uh, coming from Texas where um, COVID goes to uh, live, but it vacations in Florida, <laughs> right? <laughs> so <laughs> so if, you, if you don't want people like me to have anxiety attacks on planes, just put your mask on, you know, especially if you're a coffer, you know, that kind of thing. But coming up next, coming up next, um, in a challenging trio setting, sans a chording instrument. And what that means, this is a, a, a setting that's not going to have a, a piano with it, in a sense, uh, with Matt Dwanski on bass and drummer uh, Jonathan Barber, tenor saxophonist uh, Julieta Ayahenio is one of the emerging tenor saxophonists. Okay, she's originally from Argentina. Julieta moved to New York City. Everyone say, New York City. Y'all know, y'all are old enough to know where that's from, okay. Almost a decade ago, and at the height of the pandemic, uh, began working with her collabora uh, collaborators, meeting uh, regularly to, to workshop her music. The trio soon developed an electric chemistry forged around her brilliant and insightful compositions. Her debut album, Jump, that's with Greenleaf Music, features eight original compositions as well as some choice jazz standards performed with the musicians she is joined by today. So not only do you get to hear her today, you get to hear the people who own the album. That doesn't happen often, you dig what I'm saying? So put your hands together. Are we ready back there? She's right here. To the Juliet Ayahenio Trio.
Thank you so much. I mean, a lovely audience. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, so we just played, we started with Ephes, which is one of my compositions. And um, then we play a beautiful standard called Flamingo, which is this one. And uh, <laughs> we're going to play one more for you. I'm so happy to be here. I love DC. Um, it's really beautiful, beautiful energy, beautiful people. So thank you, everyone.
Put your hands together for Julieta Ayeno, everybody. Come on. Give them some love. Oh, that was hot right there, am I right? Some of y'all starting to move a little bit, I see that. This is pretty solid. And remember, we want you to stick around because at the very end, now how many of you work corporate? Y'all know what a survey monkey is? Who knows survey monkey? Raise your hand if you do. Okay, we're gonna have some people to assist you if you don't know what to do and how to do and make sure your internet is together on your phone. Get your phones out, make sure you got some internet so you can get to your survey monkey and we can make sure we can do our voting because your vote counts. It's important that we vote. We are a society that forgets to vote. <laughs> and you see what happens when you just think people will vote right for you, am I correct? And next thing you know, you got the FBI going into <laughs> See, y'all are in my brain. I didn't say nothing, did I? I didn't say nothing, Lord have mercy. You know, whenever the FBI show up, somebody going to jail also. <laughs> that was some real stuff. That was some real stuff. I saw that, I was like, woo, Lord have mercy. Oh, I got you. We want to remind you also, there is some, you know, we as artists, we put out, you know, music, and then we have like CDs and different merchandise, right? And so Julieta, she has merchandise. And she's come all the way down here from New York City. Y'all, it's not out there. If you don't have a CD player, that's not my fault. <laughs> I want you to think about that cousin you have in Ohio who drives a Dodge Ram. They have a CD player in their car. <laughs> that friend in North Carolina who still has a Ford Focus, there's a, there is a CD player in the car, friend, you know? And get the CD for them so they can make sure that they are Okay. Are we having a good time? Say yes. yes. I want you to make sure you all are solid. And know we have a, I'm trying to give a little time because the next drummer that will be coming and accompanying our next contestant, uh, he, he has to change the drums around. He's left-handed. That's his, his mama down here on the left. First of all, wait a minute. Something we have not shouted out just yet. If you have a, a, a child that is a musician that plays music or is a creator, raise your hand if, you have, if you're the mom or dad of a child. Let's give it up to the music moms, the music dads. Let's give it up to them who after working all week long decided to take their children to piano lessons. My mother, I, God bless her soul, she took me. I was in private lessons from the time I was six until I was 16. Every Tuesday and every Friday, I had to go see Miss Ora Lusk at her home to learn to play classical music. Uh, I hid my theory book because I did not like music theory. Theory is when you're not on the piano. They got your book out, you got your pencil out. You can't do music theory with a pen and you're out there trying to answer questions, and I got so fed up, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna hide this book. So I hid, the, I hid my theory book in her love seat, right under the cushion. And for two months straight, I was solid. Miss, I don't know where this, I don't know where the book is. I can't find it nowhere. And I came to her house on a Friday for my piano lesson, and she had a brand new living room suit. She said, Aaron, we have some work to do. <laughs> I said, Lord, have mercy. This is solid. This is solid. And let's also give it up. I think I see Willie Jenkins out there, the artistic director for the... Y'all better give him some love. This is what you call... This is called walking history. I listened to one of his uh, interviews. He talked about when he interviewed Miles Davis, I believe. And the process of that interview, how that went down, was absolutely, it's not often you get to meet people who actually interviewed Miles Davis and some of the greats. So if you see a towering figure walking through here who just seems too cool for school, that's Willie Jenkins, shake his hand and get to know somebody who's a part of black history, jazz history, and that sort of situation. How are we doing behind me? Is God moving? Is God moving back here? We good? Okay. 
I'm from the church. Who's been to black church? Raise your hand. Jesus, my, my, my. Ha, hallelujah. He's good. Wait a minute. If you ain't never been to black church, raise your hand. If you've never been to black church, you've only been to white church, raise your hand. It's all right. Okay, listen. Welcome to the D.C. Jazz Free Church of God in Christ Baptist Pentecostal. I am your pastor, Bishop Myers here. <laughs> all right. I want you to make some noise. This is the last group. And this last group that's coming to the stage is a, uh, is a group that is absolutely very, not only unique, it is root-centered. Next up on stage is Aquia Allridge and the Tribe, led by DC-born vocalist Aquia Allridge. The band includes bassist Chris Fun, pianist, keyboardist Samuel Prather, and drummer Tyler Leak. Auric's style is fluid and ever evolving. Her musical roots run deeply into blues, soul, and rhythm and blues with a clear grounding in jazz and Pan-African music. She sings in many languages. Given her ability to capture the essence of a broad range of musical genres, Orange is often likened to legendary artists such as Oscar Brown Jr., uh, Miriam Makiba, and also Nina Simone. She she has developed a popular tribute program involving the latter two women and other great African-American women of jazz. Queer Orange and the Tribe represent a magnet magnetic, Afrocentric multiculturalism. Please join me in extending a tremendous welcome to our last act, a Queer Orange and the Tribe. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Yeah. I want to take my time Make you mine Take my time Make Thank you. 
Next tune. First of all, hey y'all. How y'all doing? Good. So I always like to introduce me and my tribe real fast because we ain't got that much time. Please give it up for Mr. Sam Prather on the keys. Ow! And background vocals and percussion. He's doing it all. And my brother from another mother and father, Mr. Chris Fun on the bass. Ow! And on the drums, the fabulous Mr. Tyler Lee. Give it up for Tyler Lee. Ow! And my name is Aquia Allrich. OK. <laughs> so those first two songs were originals of mine. They're called Asuo and Take My Time. This one is uh, kind of a traditional song. It's a standard. It is a jazz festival, right? So we got to do a standard. My baby don't care for shoes. My baby don't care for clothes. My baby, he don't care for me. My baby don't care for cars and races. My baby don't care for He don't care for hearts or places. Jill Scott is not his style. Smile. It ain't something that he can see. I wonder what's wrong with baby. My baby just cares for me. Come on, Chris. Thank you. 
My baby don't care for shows. My baby don't care for clothes. My baby, he just cares for me. My baby don't care for cars and races. My baby don't care for love. He don't care for hearts on places. Liz Taylor was never his style. And even Halle Berry smile. It ain't something that he can see. Ain't something he can see. I wonder what's wrong. song is called Malaika. Anybody in here speak Swahili? Just pretend like you don't, okay? <laughs> I'm asking that because I'm gonna sing this song in Swahili, and if I mess it up, you won't really know the difference. <laughs> so Malaika means angel, and I'm gonna need your help at the end. Is that okay? Y'all yeah. look great! Ow! Okay, we're gonna get started, because we ain't got that much time. Two more minutes? Okay, so this one y'all know. But I do want to introduce my tribe again. Please give it up for Sam the Fantastic. Brother from another mother and father. And give it up for Chris Fine on the bass, y'all. Yeah. Tyler Leak on the drums. My name is Aquia Allrich. They about to kick me off, but y'all can sing. I can't stand the rain. Against my window. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Bringing back 
that sweet memory. Yo, give us some love. I can't stand the rain. I love y'all. Thank you so much. This my window. Woo! Cause he's not here with me. One last time. I can't stand the rain. Give it up, give it up for Aquia Allrich and the tribe. I can't stand the rain. It's my window. Hey, I know what you mean, baby. I'll go to church in a second. Hallelujah. No, let's give them one more round of applause if you could, please. And so what we're going to do, it's time to start voting. But before we start talking about voting, we got to talk about something else that's very serious. Let me get my podium over here. Because I got to read this. Now, I'm a product of the public school system. <laughs> no judgment. <laughs> Superintendent, how you doing, sir? This is a black principal. Listen, anytime I see black people as a principal, y'all give him some love. He's a black man. He's an educator. You a superintendent now? You just read it. Just read it right. That's old school. Read it right. Read and write it in arithmetic. That's what we're going to do. Before we take a quick intermission, I can't see. There we go. I would like to take this time to talk about the D.C. Jazz Festival Music Education Program. Now, you heard Sonny mention this earlier. All the merchandise that's bought, the shirts that you saw, that goes to make sure that uh, the D.C. Jazz Festival is present in the schools that are in this area. Uh, the D.C. Jazz Festival Music Education Program encourages students of all ages to get jazzed about learning. From the littlest learners in D.C. bops to our international jazz band competition, D.C. Jazz Pre, all the way to the one-of-a-kind Meet the Artist interviews that you can catch right out there. The D.C. Jazz Festival Music Education Program impacts over 5,000 students. Put your hands together for 5,000 students. Not only 5,000 students, but also the teachers and the families through the workshops, the master classes, ensemble experiences, and so much more. The program fulfills the mission of the D.C. Jazz Festival, which is to advance jazz and music education highlight D.C. as a major and vibrant center for jazz, and unify diverse communities with dynamic educational programming that continues the rich legacy of America's original art form, jazz. For more information on how you, too, can experience the D.C. Jazz Festival Music Education Program, please visit www.dcjazzfest.org. Everyone say dcjazzfest.org. I want y'all to go there and see how y'all can help these young people. I think it's amazing uh, when you meet people who, uh, especially young people today, who have some music education and they know there are other options out there for them, especially in the times that we live in. So I, I really don't take that part lightly. So if you get a shirt or get a, a, a cap, a visor, a bottle, water bottle, whatever they have, get it so that we can make sure these young people are supported. All right? All right now. How did I do principal? I did good. And I did that without my glasses on. You see that? Y'all see me turning toward the light, though. <laughs> okay. You know, you, as you get older, there's a few things you realize when your eyesight is failing. Is when you, you know, during the day you're good, but you know you need glasses when it's nighttime and you're asked to drive. <laughs> Who here can't drive at night without glasses? Raise your, raise your hand. There you go. I drive as fast as I can see. You hear me? I don't care you honking at me. That don't mean nothing to me, baby. Go around. I'm in the left lane. The left lane has a better light. Sorry. <laughs> you gonna get where you going? I'm going where I'm going. You gonna be fine. Okay. Everyone say it's it's time, it's time. To, vote. to vote. Okay. Now we're going to take a quick ten minute intermission for you to go ahead and get your voting on. And so this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to www. You're going to head to www. Get your phones out. Everybody, get your phones out. Don't just be a passive citizen. Vote. www.surveymonkey. That's S-U-R-A. 
V-E-Y-M-O-N-K-E-Y dot com backslash R. Back, that's how your grandmama said. Y'all don't act new to me. Say backslash DC Jazz Pre, P R I X 2022. Two. See, y'all were acting like I was crazy while ago. So with www.surveymonkey.com backslash DC Jazz Pre, that's P R I X 2022. SurveyMonkey.com backslash R backslash DC Jazz Pre 2022. I'm going to say it again. Now, y'all listen to me. Some of y'all, this is how we're going. This is pull out your Bible. Listen. www.surveymonkey.com backslash R. Backslash DC Jazz Pre 2002. Y'all see that now? Mm hmm. You better give me your give me your phone. You playing with me? <laughs> give me your phone over here. <laughs> Let me hope you. I'm gonna hope you. She's trying to get it together. Uh huh. Forward forward slash forward slash. Okay. Well, it depends on which way you're looking. Forward slash R. Forward slash, R. Forward slash DC. No, you put the DC first, my dear. I got you, though. Jazz. P R I X. 2002. Honey, you, yeah, but you put that in just the Google bar. You got to put this in your, this is your actual. This is the actual URL. There we go. Let's do that. Don't say y'all. <laughs> oh, no wonder. Wait a minute. Wait. A minute. Listen. Now, listen. Don't y'all come at me now. <laughs> See, I'm starting to get the heat. Mickey. Mickey, do this for this woman with the hat on. Do it for her. Put it in for her. We got people out to help. If you out to help, some of the supporters, help them. If you need help, raise your hand so they can come and support you. No, I got yo, yo, somebody got yours. Boy, I love this. I feel like y'all, help your neighbor. Help your neighbor. Forward slash, I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. She got your phone. Mickey has your phone right here. You got it? Wait for it to love. There we go. There you go. You need somebody to do yours? You got yours? Go ahead and work on it.
thank you for being a friend. And if you threw a party, you invited everyone you knew. You would see the biggest gift would be for me, and the card attached would say, "Thank you for being a friend." The youngest one in girl. I'm from the church, y'all. I can't help it. And here's a story about a man named Brad. What about this right here? Uh That's different strokes. Uh or you go to the 90s. Uh tomorrow night at 10 p.m. I'm closing out the festival. First time we've had a late night show for the DC Jazz Festival. I would love for all of you to come and join me. Would you mind joining me tomorrow night? Could y'all could y'all do that? It's gonna be fun. Who's been wait a minute? I, we talk about black church and white church a little bit. Do y'all know the difference between black? You know, what, what's your name, friend? Your name is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. You look Methodist to me. Where, where do you go to church? Episcopalian? You don't go to church at all? Where were you raised? Nothing? Jewish, Catholic? Just in nothing. Okay, I got you. What about you, ma'am? What's your name? Summer. Nice to meet you, Summer. I'm Aaron. Praise God. Good to see you. So listen. Okay, Kevin, do you know the difference between black church and white church? Can I tell you? Can I explain something? Can I teach you real quickly? I love this. I love you. Recognize your privilege. I love that. And we can talk. So you can tell the difference between black church and white church. Why y'all are still voting? Y'all make sure you vote. Because I'm going to do this and we're going to stop. So right here, the difference you can tell between black church and white church is how you may sing simple songs. For instance, there's a song that's sung throughout all uh, churches called like Amazing Grace, right? You've heard it. May, I mean, so you go to white church, right? White church for Amazing Grace is what you hear. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. White church, black church, ready? Two words. 
Where is it? You can also tell the difference between black church and white church by the way we do funerals. Because, see, listen, white person's funeral, white person's funeral, right? Literally, you know, God dies on Thursday. Funeral's Friday at noon, right? Next day, noon. Name is Tom. Hey, Tom, Tom. Oh, what happened, Tom? Tom left blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste. Glory divine. That's it. Done, done. Funeral lasts 30 minutes. We're out. You know? So. <laughs> I got you. So, literally, after that, go to the black church. Funeral. Different scenarios. First scenario, your cousin Buki died. He didn't go to church. We did a GoFundMe. We got all the money together. We pulled some pictures together. We had his at the funeral home, okay? You know, we, have, we don't have a live musician. We have some music that's played there for that one. You know what I mean? We all showed up. We took off work. We got there out. Second funeral, this is Big Mama. Big Mama put her program together back in 1987. Okay, it's written out. Her paper's yellow from what she wrote, wrote out on. And there's one song. You only say one word of this song, and I'm going to show you the reaction that happens. Ready? But then the last funeral that happens is your cousin, this is your first cousin, all of a sudden, happened out of nowhere. You at work, get the call, fall out. This one song plays, no words are sung. When this first, when the song starts playing, no words are sung. You just hear these notes and you're gonna start crying. That's what's gonna happen. Every black person's about to have a memory right now. Watch, right. Ready? Okay, listen, right now, there's some people out here kind of crying a little bit, actually. They just brought back a memory. You don't even realize that there's some people, that's, he, you made a friend, a grieving friend. You know what I mean? No, I'm gonna do, can I do a real song? What am I gonna do? I'm do a real song here. Uh, anybody ever seen the show uh, Ragtime? Ragtime? On my last album, which we had, Chris, Chris Fun and uh, uh, Sam Prather, who played on this as well. We did a song called um, Make Them Hear You. And you know, the la my last album came out as, you know, everything was happening. George Floyd, pandemic, we all in the house watching this stuff happen at the same time. So I thought I would cover this song. And it basically goes something like this here. Tell our stories, let it echo far and wide. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. How justice was our battle, and how justice was denied. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. Say to those who blame us for the way we chose to fight. Sometimes there are battles that are more than black or white. And I could not put down my sword when justice was 
my right. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. Go out and tell our stories to our daughters and our sons. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. And tell them in our struggles we were not the only ones. Make them hear you. Make them hear you. Your sword could be a sermon or the power of the pen. Teach everyone to lift their voice and then my family will win. Will justice be demanded by 10 million righteous men? Make them hear you. When they hear you, Everyone say it's time. You voted. Now we want to bring up, we got to bring up some, some what I call some of the bosses. Is Tom Silverstein, is he back there somewhere? I want you to come up, join me on stage if you could. And then if Peter Gillian, chair of the DC Jazz Festival, is Peter back there? Did Peter leave? Or is he here? Wait a minute, you're missing the links? Wait, hold on, wait a minute. Y'all haven't voted? Y'all, wait a minute. Wait a minute, it's too late. They've already tabulated, it's closed, the voting is closed. Y'all didn't vote? <laughs> Someone said, I heard you down front. It's okay, okay, let's go ahead. If we can get um, Tom up here. Tom, are you near? Tom Silverstein? I gotta make sure he's, there he is. Y'all give Tom some love as he comes. All right. It said he ain't catching nothing with that mask on. That's one of them heavy duty masks. That mask said, ain't nothing getting through here. How you doing, sir? All right. And the envelope. Oh, you've already this is the, okay. So the winner of the 2022 DC Jazz is Julieta. Julieta is the winner. Is Julieta here? Is Julieta here? I know she better be here. There's a check. Y'all keep it going, if you could, please, for the winner. If we can get Julieta. Keep it going. You got to help us out here. Now, come on. You just won. You just won. The people voted. The people voted. Wonderful. This is one of our fun, Tom Silverstein. Tom, could you tell us real quickly, why do you love jazz so much? Makes you feel good when you hear it. Makes you feel good when you hear it. Well, that's a wonderful feeling. I think, is there a photographer that's supposed to take care of some pictures? Yes? Uh, uh, let me host this. They ain't heard that heard her last name. <laughs> if we could, give her one more round of applause. <laughs> Julieta and your head your last name. Okay, is there a photographer? Lawrence, right here. We won't have a um, photographer right here. So, 
Would you like to say anything? As she comes to the microphone, please give her some love. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much. Wow, I, I can't believe it. I mean, I'm speechless. Um, Thank you, this is a dream come true. You know, it's a, I came all the way from Argentina. I've been here eight years um, in New York City. Thank you. And yeah, I just, I love music, I love jazz, and you know, I live for this. So thank you so much. I appreciate each and every of you here. You know, it's, it's made this concert like super special. So little concert, right? Because it was like 20 minutes. But hopefully I come back soon and, you know, we're going to have fun. Yes. <laughs> so thank you so much. Julieta and Eugenio, everybody. Congratulations. So we thank you for coming. Visit the DC Jazz Fest website for merchandise. Follow us on Facebook. Head outside to see the winners. Discuss the future at the DC Jazz Pre. Meet the artist on the Recreation Pier. The talk begins at 4.30. Also, visit the rest of the shows here at the Wharf. Discover something new and the unexpected over the weekend. Stay safe. Have a great week. Thank you, and good afternoon. See y'all later, everybody. <laughs>